So good evening and welcome to this session on creative writing on behalf of the All India Educators Forum. We have conducted more than 100 webinars and this is the first time we have actually invited students. <clears throat> so I welcome all the students who are attending the session today. Uh, along with the teachers, the parents. It's an open link this time, the first time that AIF is trying something like this. So I'm uh, happy to welcome you all. And our resource person for today, Nina Matthew, is going to conduct this session. And uh, she is going to present the session on creative writing, the nuances of creative writing. So oh, it's over to you, Nina. You can uh, unmute yourself and start the session. Thank you. Thank you so much, Matthew. I welcome you all to the creative writing webinar. And this is basics of creative writing. And since we have a mixed audience, we will stick to the basics of creative writing. And I'm really very happy to share my screen with you. So Matthew, if I can share my screen. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So if I, um, if you could mute yourself, then it will be easier for us to move forward. So I welcome you all on behalf of AIEF to the creative writing webinar and any takeaway that you have or any comment that you have, please do message me through my email ID, which is over here. And I'm also available on Party Pod School that is on Spotify or Anchor app. If you download, you'll be hearing a lot of stories, anecdotes, and games and ideas related, related to the education community. So whenever you get time, do log on to that too. So let me begin. Writing is the painting of I think Zenubia Siddiqui and uh, some more have uh, not muted themselves. So it would be really kind of you if you could mute yourself. Thank you. Writing is a painting of the voice. So what uh, said by Walter, Walter. So here, every word that we speak, we write. And that is so evident because it is something creative. What we are speaking, we are writing. So writing is the painting of the voice. What is creativity? Since the time this lockdown has happened, there have been a lot of art integrated activities and uh, webinars that we have attended, we have conducted, and we are very clear on the creative aspects. It is not related to just one aspect that is drawing or painting. Creativity is a huge genre of drama, writing, or uh, any kind of free expression that we see around us and also incorporating it with our subjects. So today we are into this creative writing webinar and I'm really happy that you have come in huge numbers over here. It shows your interest and it is giving me also a certain boost to go on with this uh, webinar. Thank you so much for showing your interest. Creativity is intelligence having fun. Albert Einstein has said that all of us all of us, every one of us over here in this webinar who we are attending, we have our geniuses. We all are genius in our own. We cannot say that, you know, I don't have that creativity. That is like abusing the creator and the creation itself. 
we all are born genius we have the intelligence only we need to tap that intelligence and move on to that creative aspect in the creative direction so we need to identify that and have fun with it and so is the case with creative writing also so ken robinson says that creativity is now as important in education as literacy and we should treat it with the same status if you go to youtube you'll uh, you can watch a lot of uh, ted talks and interviews that he has given and he has also written books on education creativity schools and rather one of his uh, interview i'll share with you he said that you know uh, we all are learners and can you imagine shakespeare being a learner shakespeare was also a student there might have been some teacher over there correcting him for his literature for his grammar for his spellings you're not supposed to write like that you're not supposed to write like this so it's really hilarious so if you do uh, watch his youtube uh, ted talks and the interviews it will give he will he talks sense about creativity in schools and how we can implement it also what is the purpose of creative writing we need to find that purpose we need to know the we need to be very clear as to why we are writing it is it to entertain is it to share knowledge is it to share information or techniques or express our views on any matter of life or is it for grades or marks that we are choosing to write creatively so that we need to understand our purpose needs to be clear so the types of creative writing you will find blogs poetry novels plays songs movie scripts speech or stories now blogs you can have you can write your own blog you uh, you can write it you make a, a, a fictitious uh, facebook id of yours and start writing over there get into the habit of uh, typing digitally because we are moving into a digital world and it is very easy because you're not first you're not wasting paper second you can edit and you can place replace and lots of things can be done added subtracted when you are working on a word document or on a blog so it's very important the better uh, the faster you get into the digital mode the better it is for you before we move forward we have this um, technical writing now what is technical writing technical uh, writing is like a uh, specific information for specific audience with a specific purpose and it is not a part of creative writing so we need to understand that suppose you buy a washing machine it comes with a user manual right but again it is not creative writing it has certain steps it is organized and you know step 1 is this step 1 uh, step 2 is this but again uh um, that also require there's a process for technical writing there is a pre writing process there's a drafting process and then the final piece is available even the the course books of uh, say the medical students or the law students a lot of uh, i mean it's specific specific audience specific information and specific purpose so that is technical writing so that will not include in creative writing so if you want to make an impact you have to be on the path of learning you have to love to learn and you have proved but your presence itself has proved that you are a lover of learning because that is the habit which is going to take you forward in life whether you are student whether you are teacher parent an adult anyone learning will always take you forward so here when we are talking about creative writing we should uh, understand that even a drop of ink can make millions think that is the power of writing that is how you engage the readers you motivate them you encourage them through your words the words are so powerful and uh, it's also said that uh, if uh, you know 
if someone is speaking, that may, might make an uh, impression for a short while or maybe a little longer while. But when you write, it actually builds tracks for a lifetime. And people follow those tracks. People get inspired by that. So writing is the ultimate skill for you to learn. And it's a learnable skill, which we'll uh, come to know in the other slides. You need to choose your genre of creative writing, whether it's fiction, nonfiction, or poetry. So choose your favorite and go ahead with it. There is a difference between fiction and nonfiction. Fiction is not real, it's story talk. And uh, you need to enjoy, you read in order. Uh, there are a lot of illustrations and then there is a beginning, there's an end, there's middle, there's resolution, rising action, falling action. All that comes in uh, fiction. Whereas nonfiction is more factual. Uh, you read in any order. You, uh, a lot of uh, information is supported by photographs or charts or graphs. All this is nonfiction. Now, if you uh, go to Wikipedia, you'll find a variety of uh, fiction genres but I have just uh, made it short for you, short and simple. So these are the basic uh, areas of fiction. Ms. Ranga Rao. Yeah, thank you. Uh, fantasy, romance, horror, crime, science, inspirational. These are the various areas of fiction and a lot of imagination goes into it. Uh, when it. When you talk about crime, there is a mystery in there. There is a frightening aspect of, uh, when you talk about science fiction or uh, inspirational. Also, you have philosophical, theological, futuristic and space travel, time travel is also part of fiction. These are um, the various genres of fiction and why do people prefer fiction, writing in fiction? Because there is, I mean, you can engage easily with the audience. There are a lot of, there's a huge section of readers who are interested in reading fiction. So, and you get a lot of ideas. There's never a dearth of ideas when you choose fiction. So that is why people uh, choose fiction as their writing option, creative writing option. So the language of fiction, you need to take care of the grammar. You need to take care that, you know, you have to use imagery and a style. Your style has to be original. Whatever you read anywhere, any material, any author, get inspired by the author, but it's better not to imitate the writing. Have your own style. You can read different authors and combine the, the styles and make your own style. So that makes an original piece. So why is writing considered to be a challenging skill in any language? Now, when we talk about any language, there are basically four skills which we are all familiar with. It is listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So when we talk about listening, we have the first level, which is, which is happening in home, school. And then we go on uh, speaking, uh, listening to our friends. And then we watch movies, serials, and uh, media. So there, there also we are listening. Then speaking happens at the same levels, three levels. And reading also happens at the three levels. Now, what is happening over here, we can take a, a case, a, a real uh, case, as in my case. Let's take my case. I know three languages, right? I know English, I know Hindi, and I know Malayalam. Now, let's take Hindi in my case. I have, uh, I'm used to talking in Hindi. Uh, I have learned, Hindi, listened to Hindi in home, at school, with my friends. All this happened. Speaking also in Hindi happened 
in home and school. I have spoken in my community and uh, with my uh, related to my work also, I have spoken in Hindi. Reading also happened in school where uh, we had Bal Bharti books and a lot of uh, extensive readers also for Hindi. But after that, what happened at level two? Did I ever pick up a book of uh, say Prem Chand or Mahadevi Varma or Hari Vansh Rai Bachchan on my own? That's my interest. Have I picked up a book on my own? No. Have I read for some purpose, like whether this book is going to give me some information or enhance my vocabulary? No. So will I reach the writing skill, the fourth skill? It's not going to happen because I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, do this part, which is so essential to reach writing. Of course, I can write in Hindi, but, but that is literacy. I'm literate in Hindi, but can I really write something fascinating for the readers? Can I come up with, with an original creative writing piece in Hindi? No. Why? Because I did not read it. Let's take another analogy of a baby. A baby is born, baby listens at home, the same language. A baby learns to uh, say the first milestone learns to sit. So that is listening. Then baby learns to stand. That is speaking. Baby learns to walk. That is reading. Baby learns to write. That is running. Now what is happening? Sitting is happening. Standing is happening in our case. And most of the cases what happens after standing, we directly want to run. It doesn't happen over here. Why? Because reading is the, the ultimate skill which is going to take you forward and help you in your writing skill. If this is not happening at all levels, then it is difficult for you to reach writing in a real, original and creative style. So map your way to creative writing, learn the tools and techniques in this course. The writing process is, uh, involves planning, then you research and you collect data, you structure it, you write, you rewrite, you revise. Again, I'm telling you that please get used to your Word document because that is the future. Paper and pen, yes, you, journaling is important, but when you are actually wanting to present something or actually wanting to write something, get into the habit of writing it over uh, on the Word document in, on your computer. So editing happens and then you can test and you can publish. So we have uh, covered till now the blogs, uh, you have WordPress, where you can make your own blog and you can write. You can write uh, fiction, non-fiction, speech, plays, and poems. What you want to write about? What is it that you want to write about? We all have something which uh, relates to us, which really interests us, and we want to write about it, and we write. But while writing, we the first thing that we always uh, need to think is whatever we are writing, will the reader engage themselves in what we write? Will the reader find it interesting? Am I writing it in a very presentable way which will interest the readers? And it is always between these two points that the sweet spot of creative writing lies that you, you want to write one thing and what your readers enjoy. You need to find that too. So take care of that and then go ahead with your creative writing. Now, this is a course creation of creative writing, which is at uh, three levels. And a level one will have about all about creative writing. You uh, come to know about the purpose and the types of creative writing and you get started with it. Level two will be 
a lot of uh, interactions happening over here, tools and techniques of uh, creative writing, then uh, writing creative pieces, achieving confidence to write. And level three is writing and discussions, recommendations, improvements, and mastering the creative writing process. I need to know when, um, if, you, if at all you enroll for the course of creative writing, which genre of uh, you belong to, whether are you uh, from uh, grade one, two, three, or are you from grade four to eight, or are you a teacher who wants to teach creative writing to the children, or are you an adult who wants to go ahead with a publication? So there are different approaches towards creative writing depending on the group or uh, the age group. So uh, the course will be, uh, I'll be going ahead with the course according to your need and where uh, your level. So this is my favorite part. Let's begin with some activities. So are you ready? Now write whatever you see on screen. Now this is a very basic level, uh, which can be done with grade one, two and three, where they write whatever they see on screen. So this is just a vocabulary building part of their uh, curriculum of creative writing, where they just write whatever they see. Then the next level is you uh, tell them to describe those words. This is again a basic level because uh, up to grade three, you can say, you can tell them to you know, use adjectives, but adjectives and adverbs, once a child reaches grade four onwards, it should be avoided. That's what I feel because uh, then they should not get into the habit of um, using too much of uh, descriptive words, but rather they should be able to use metaphors and similes, comparisons, alliterations over here. So let's encourage them right from grade four, these habits, and then that becomes a skill later on. But introduction needs to be there at this level of metaphors and similes. So uh, can you think of any, anything that comes into your mind? You can just uh, mute, unmute yourself and uh, say anything when um, anything, like all answers are accepted. So let's uh, have some interaction because I've been talking. So I need to know whether uh, we have some great participants over here. You need to unmute yourself and say something. Okay, uh, let's start with the objects that you see. Come on. Okay, good evening, ma'am. I'm Gurpi Dhingra from GHPS Himkund. So there are plenty of things. I can see a globe. I can see a paintbrush and a plate. Okay. Then, of course, there's a calculator. One can see a scale, a ruler. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank ma'am. You. Thank you. <laughs> so anyone who wants to describe these things, anyone who would like to describe it? Anyone? Um, good evening, ma'am. Are we supposed to describe the things that mom has just said, or are we supposed to describe no, anything, uh, anything, whatever you see? Um, I can see my diary in front of me, it's okay, brown, almost like a tree, and it's very close to me as well, not just physically but emotionally as well. And what is your name? Uh, Mama Vani. Vani. Thank you, Vani. Thank you. So Hi. these are um, 
the very basic where what you see you are saying it but you can also use it as metaphors and similes or any other phrases like you know are you looking at this situation with this lens if i am talking about this uh, with a uh, with the lens of a parent or with the lens of a teacher or a detective so uh, or uh, i can say that oh my friends i cannot think of any creative writing tips and, and nothing is coming into my mind my pencil has is as good as dead wood so what am i using over here i'm using metaphors i'm using similes and that makes my uh, when i write it write them down it enhances my uh, creative writing even for uh, if i say star uh, i can say that you know uh, the stars uh, are like gold dust strewn across the sky so that is again helping okay so we uh, we can use all this uh, metaphors and similes to upgrade our creative writing skills and then you can choose there's another activity where you can quickly choose any five pictures draw them number them make a story and speak and share and this activity again takes a lot of time and uh, there are a lot of things you know Uh, there's a, can you think of any proverb there's a very cliche proverb related to this come on quick this one ah uh, where is it yeah can anyone think of this come on hello yeah what is it the eye of the beholder huh? Yes, the cursor. Hello, ma'am. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, beauty in the eye of the beholder. Okay. An apple, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So uh, again, here also we are choosing the emojis, and we can write a creative piece. We can encourage children. Uh, there is again a process, an approach. This approach also requires What say minimum. Be? Let's. Then story writing tips. Think of who, why, where, and when of your story. Think of a strong opening, mystery, a conflict, or straight away you are starting with the story. Think of a plot and characters. Now, if we talk about the characters, uh, my daughter always has, uh, you know, my, her. She calls her dad. She used to call her dad Superman. But yesterday, what happened? uh matthew was actually you know scolding her to wear jacket and um, she should be careful and this and that she got so irritated she got up and she said papa now you have become a lecture man in my life so i was a silent spectator and i said wow this is a character development from superman he's become a lecture man and what is going to happen in the future don't know because she's not even a teenager now so make the dialogues count how do they take the story forward your dialogues have to be really effective not hello how are you where are you then the story stays there so take the forward take the story forward build the climax and revise for sentence structure and grammar a picture is worth a thousand words a complex idea can be conveyed with just a single still image namely making it possible to absorb large amounts of data quickly so paint the picture in your mind whatever creative writing piece you have in your mind you build that picture because you need to have okay in the beginning i'll have this in the middle you'll i'll have this and towards the end it's going to end like this so have that mental picture so that when you put it on paper or on the digital medium then it is very clear for you then you just need to add the facts and uh, twists of the story this is how powerful the pencil is all these thoughts can come into your pencil that is the power of creative writing okay so which proverb come on fast we don't have much time <laughs> A Come pen on. is mightier pen than the sword. Than the sword. Excellent. Pen is, than... pen is mightier than the sword. What happens when the the sword becomes powerful? Look at this. It is so destructive, isn't it? 
it can destroy um, i mean uh, imagine living in a society where uh, the sword is powerful it will be so non violent and it will be i mean so it will be so violent, violent. and be violent yes it will be violent and it will be destructive 10 tips for writing poems know your goal now the poem uh, poetry is another level of creative writing so you need to avoid cliches like cliches are you know phrases which pe uh, people are just uh, fed up of reading again and again and again so you need to avoid them use imagery and use metaphor similes in your poems use concrete words and rhyme with extreme caution don't be uh, uh too much fascinated with the rhyme because it gives a sing song nursery rhyme kind of an effect so we can have a free verse we can there are different uh, haikus are there so look for different uh types of poetry and then communicate the theme so this picture um communicates a theme uh, that's why i selected this picture and subvert the ordinary and even if you are wanting to uh, choose an ordinary topic change it into an extraordinary topic avoid sentimentality and revise most important don't tell me the moon is shining show me the glint of light on broken glass anton chekhov says this what does this mean that how would you show this don't tell me show me the story show and not tell we always have this habit of telling telling so we need to stop that and we need to show for example it was an exciting day for rahul it is telling but if i say rahul was rahul had his mouth open his wide his eyes were wide open and he was jumping up and down the couch when he received that gift so did i say that it was exciting for rahul no did i tell you that no i showed you what he did so again it is invoking the senses yes so showing is invoking your senses so always remember have a balance between show and tell when you are writing a creative piece so think creative to be creative and we need to talk and express in the spoken word be comfortable in the language and that's about it because we had promised that we'll uh, complete this in one session and thank you for being such amazing participants and uh, i really enjoyed giving this presentation to you thank you thank you nina thank you ma'am <clears throat> yeah so uh, there were some on the chat we could uh, find that some of you could not hear etc in between so the recording as a premiere we'll be putting at 9 pm on youtube i'll be sending the link so you can forward it and you can listen to this again so once again thanks a lot for attending the session so good night and hope you are going to attend more sessions and we are going to give more chance for kids also to attend our webinar so this was i mean i must say i was a little apprehensive of calling the kids on a webinar with teachers but i must say that uh, your discipline and you uh, kept the you know decorum of the program so thank you so much and have a good night and uh, we'll be sending you more invitations in future thank you thank you